The main problem uh, that we have at the moment is to control the so-called multidrug resistant strains of tuberculosis that are the uh, cases of tuberculosis in which the bacillus has become resistant to two or more drugs. Uh, so when two drugs are involved, the two most important ones, isoniazid and rifampicin, we speak about MDRTB, multidrug resistant tuberculosis. If other uh, drugs, second line drugs, are involved, then we um, define those cases extensively drug resistance XDRTB. The problem is that in several countries of the former Soviet Union, more than 50% of the cases now are MDR, and the world record at present is in Belarus. But in the entire area, uh, more than uh, half of the cases at the end are resistant to two or more drugs. And this poses big problems to the possibility we have to treat them with at least four efficient drugs. And still, uh, in rich countries, uh, we have uh, dozens of cases every year of patients dying uh, because uh, we don't have simply the four effective drugs to give them to ensure their, their cure. And of course, uh, on, uh, on top of uh, the death of, of uh, human lives, we have the problem that those cases are infectious and uh, when we uh, have them in a hospital room, there is a real important risk that this is transmitted to other visitors, to staff, to other patients. And this requires very expensive um, uh, in measures of infection control to be in place. In addition, we have to say that just only in drugs to cure one of these cases costs from 100 to 100,000 euros. That this means millions per each case affected by these uh, drug resistant forms. Fortunately, we have now two new drugs uh, that have been uh, launched in the market in a kind of semi um, experimental way, which are the Lamanid and Bidaquilin. And the first studies are going on to demonstrate their capacity to sterilize the bacillus, uh, but we don't know yet exactly uh, in which regimen those drugs should be uh, included and if you can combine the two drugs together. So this is one of uh, the major challenge and we hope that this YDID conference will give important information that we might contribute to the fight against tuberculosis.